Can you have burgers for breakfast? Yes, you can. And today I'm going to be making my ultimate breakfast burger. I'm going to be making this ultimate breakfast burger out on the Weber kettle today. I have the briquette baskets about mm, maybe two thirds way full with briquettes and we're going to be cooking with cast iron today. So we got to get our pan heated up. Want to get that pan nice and smoking hot. First thing we're going to do is our breakfast burger patty. See how hot our pan is using our infrared thermometer. Still a little bit to go. I want to get it hotter than that. We're in the upper 200s, 300s now, but it's smoking hot as you can see. All right, our cast iron skillet is hot. I'm going to be putting in a three quarter pound patty made of breakfast sausage, and it's dusted with Trader Joe's South African seasoning blend. You can hear that cast iron sizzle. I love that sound. That is the sound of flavor. Now this patty is ground pork, so we're going to be taking it to 165 degrees today. That's recommended for ground pork products. Unground pork products like pork loin, pork roasts, 145. That doesn't mean tender, that just means safe. Okay, remember when you're working with cast iron, have a good grill glove. We're going to give this burger patty a turn. Look at that beautiful crust on the outside. Okay, we're gonna move our burger indirect for just a minute. Cast iron pan is gonna keep that nice and hot and keep it cooking, but I wanna toast the bun for this burger. Very hot fire. It's not gonna take long at all to toast this bun. And you can hear that sizzling. That cast iron is off the coals and it is still rocking hot. That part of the bun's done. Get our bottom done. And our bottom is good. We're gonna slide our breakfast burger patty back over. We're gonna give it another turn. It's a big patty, it's gonna take a while to cook, but it's gonna be well worth the wait. Okay, let's check our burger now for internal temperature. We got it 161. We're gonna actually move the burger off just close to the fire to help stay warm. And we're gonna use this pan now to keep cooking our next ingredient. We're gonna get some tater tots going. All this nice burger grease there. I'm gonna smash these down a bit. And to keep those getting nice and crisp, we're gonna put a press on them. You might hear traffic in the background, but I hear the sizzle of cast iron. Let's give these a check. Ooh, it's a little flat there. Oh, they come apart, that's all right. We're gonna reassemble them on the burger. Let these crisp up just a little more on that one side. All right, let's see what happens here if I can get all of these together or if it's gonna be a reassembly project. Reassembly project. Not too bad, actually. Mostly in one piece. Mostly in one piece. Gonna let that side crisp up now. Let's check our tater tots here. Yes, I can tell it's gonna take reassembly, but that's all right. All right, let's get these off of here and move on to the next ingredient. You all know what the next ingredient has to be. Bacon. Can't do a breakfast burger without bacon. And does anyone happen to remember how I like my bacon? Could it be floppy? Ah, we are nearing acceptable floppy stage. Have I mentioned how much I like cast iron and floppy bacon? Two things in the same video. Come on. I'm a happy man right now. Another quick little turn here. That piece is ready. We're going to move that over here. 
That piece is ready. We have reached acceptable floppy stage. Bacon is coming off. For our final ingredient, we're gonna move the cast iron pan off of the heat because it has plenty of heat in it to do what we need to do now, which is cook some eggs. These eggs are not gonna take long and they're not gonna be your normal pretty little perfect eggs. That's okay. I'm making them the way I like them. Break those yolks. Get all that good bacon grease mixed up in here on the bottom of these eggs. You can see this pan is plenty hot enough to cook. It's not even on the coals. And if we need to, we can move it over the coals for a minute. See if I can do this and flip it over on top of the other half. Hey, there we go. Some yolk spilling out, but that's all right. Just scoop that yolk back on top. This is gonna be a good breakfast burger. Now for any of you wondering, I'm not putting any cheese on. I know a lot of people love cheese on their burgers, their breakfast sandwiches. I don't always eat a lot of cheese. This time I'm choosing no cheese. Gonna slide it back over the fire for just a minute so I can finish this egg off. Let me give this a turn here. Oh, does that look messy? I don't care. My burgers are sometimes messy, but they taste good. Gonna give that egg just a minute on that side, then we're gonna flip it once more and then we'll be done. Let's give this one more flip here. Finish that off. Sort of like a smashed fried egg patty. Our egg is ready. Time to get it off and build this breakfast burger. All right, we're gonna start building this burger now. First on top of the patty, our tater tot smash, then our bacon. All of it's going in there. Then our egg on top of that. And on the egg, Tabasco. Cause I love some good Tabasco. And then our top bun. And there is our breakfast burger. I am ready to eat if I can unhinge my jaw. All right, I'm ready to go into this massive burger. Can you see that? This is a burger, but it's a breakfast burger. I can't guarantee I'm gonna get this all in one bite, but here we go. Mmm, I got a little bit in every bite. That is a full breakfast in one package here. Sausage, potatoes, bacon, eggs, toast, and Tabasco. Mmm. Okay, this may be over the top, but it's over the top good. So I have so much spice. Gotta tell you, the thing I like most on this, the tater tots. When I was a kid, I loved tater tots. And we almost never had them in our house, so to have them on a breakfast burger, I'm okay with that. Let's get some more of this. Mm. Almost everybody's had some form of breakfast sandwich before, probably with a lot of these ingredients. But this is one of those big, honking, decadent meals you can make for breakfast. Fill you up, fill you through the day. Hmm. I just love the fact that every bite is breakfast. Now, yes, you could put whatever you want on this. You could put cheese. I decided not to put cheese. You wanna put ham on this, anything like that? Go for it, it's a breakfast burger, it's whatever you want. But that sausage patty that is our burger patty using breakfast sausage, it just makes you feel breakfast as soon as you bite into it. Can I share a little secret with you? This is a breakfast burger. It's about seven o'clock at night. That's when I'm filming this. That's okay with me though. There is nothing wrong with breakfast for dinner. Now you don't have to do this in cast iron. You could do that burger patty directly over the coals, cook the other things separately. But man, cast iron, I know I keep talking about it. It is just so wonderful to cook in. It's not hard, it's not hard to clean. I've done videos on how to clean it. It is just a wonderful piece of equipment for cooking. And if you don't have some, I really think you should get some. Mm. So once again, 
toast, sausage, bacon, eggs, potatoes, and Tabasco sauce on top. That's breakfast, but we had it as a burger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great evening. I'll see you again soon.